Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. So, let's go to get my timer started. Okay, so, looked around a little bit to try and figure out what the hell I was doing wrong. So, uh, I believe this is Worms Crossing, actually. And uh, that's technically where we need to go to do some of these quests. With caution. There is, uh, it's, there's stuff here. That we just kind of missed because, you know, we... We didn't really explore this area all that much. So we're going to do that now. There is a house here. Somewhere. That uh, will sort of serve as a marker for us. There we go. Tenya. That name is familiar. Um, although I did actually accidentally kind of close the page that I was looking at. Uh, so, whoopsie-daisy. Uh, give me one second. Pull this back up. So we are looking for an Angus, or how the hell it's pronounced, the freaking giant snake dragon things in the ground. Uh, just north of Tenya's house. But let's talk to Tenya real quick. Trespassing on my land home. Uh, none come this way armed as you are. It was those horrible fishermen that hired you, wasn't it? Speak. Um, they did send me, but I wish only to know what is going on. What goes on is none of your business. Leave now, lest you earn the same fate that they have. Okay, well, I'll be right back with you, Tenya. I will be right back with you. I need to go ahead and, uh... Fall. Kill one of these dudes. Uh, why? Oh, you ran out of normal arrows. In your, uh, quiver. Let's, uh, switch you back to that. I've done had enough of this. My blade will cut you down to size. With caution. There we go. And we get... Nestor's dagger, so that Nestor's mother has something to bury. Uh, beyond that, we have zero interest. The gold ring really isn't worth anything at the end of the day. Now, Tenya, the name of your quest is what again? Uh, the Fisherman and the Priestess. Yeah. And I'm going to go and pause the recording for a second. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So, uh, basically, I need to uh, make her hostile, period, uh, to advance the quest, but uh, she will surrender. So, let's go ahead. She apparently casts Entangle at the start, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Stand back and I'm watch this sort of group up our melee around her so she cannot escape do my best. or at least you know try to minimize her ability to escape Let's see you return i warn you once again to leave my home if you do not i must assume you are allied with my enemies uh, they did send me but i only i wish only to know what is going on as cowardly as they are, treacherous, hiring others to do what they could not. Tonight I shall put an end to all of this. The seas cry for vengeance. You're already dead. Victory! Well, that was fast. She's supposed to surrender when you get her low on health, but apparently low on health is two bars down. Um, She might end up dying because other people are still attempting to hit while this dialogue is now going. So as soon as we end this, she might die, which kind of sucks, but, you know, what can you do? Apparently, we're a little overpowered for her. Why do you do this? Don't you know what they've done? Sonner and the others, they are the evil ones. They killed my mother and now you help them? She only did her duty, collecting the offerings from those that would use the sea. They stole her elemental summoning bowl and tortured her for the words that make it work. Now they all misuse a gift from Umberly to pillage the seas, and her mother's spirit can't rest until it is returned. I have more power than my uh, than mother had. 
Umberly gave me her anger, but I can't find the bowl. All I can do is hunt them until they give it back or die. But I'm so tired. I don't have my mother's will, and the goddess is so demanding. Help me, please. Ah, child. I shall help as best I can. Oh, thank you. The Sea Queen may yet be satisfied with the return of the bowl, but one way or another, Sonner's group must no longer profit at her expense. It is probably being hidden in a shrine to another god. I don't know where the shrine is, and I couldn't go even if I did. But Sonner may tell you, if you ask him with a blade. Go now, for Umberly is seldom patient, and you are not yet on her good side. With caution. Okay, she doesn't actually take any damage from any attacks that happened after the dialogue popped up, which is great. Because I didn't really want to kill her, honestly. Um, okay, so, Quinn's friend, where can I find you? You are uh, in the northwest section of the city. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and quickly turn that back in. I have no idea where the hell some of the party was going, because they cannot make it there. You literally can't cross that, guys. You have to take the frickin' bridge. It ain't that hard. Just do it. Just take the damn bridge. Actually, can I... Can we enter the city? Just from the world map in general? Because if so, that'd be great. That'd save me a hell of a lot of time. We can. Uh, now, again, so we know the game's a little funky when it decides what is the northwest section of the city. I don't know if this is where Quinn was. I don't think so. I think Quinn is, in fact, actually in what is referred to as the northwest section of the city. Carefully. Which, you know, is surprising in many ways, because, again, the game is not super accurate with actually referring to things. Now, I think... I think you might have been inside of an inn. Does the quest mention an inn? No, so I'm gonna have to basically check every single inn. Uh, this is not an inn. That is some random dude's house. Uh, I think this might be an inn. Uh, commoner bartender. Is he upstairs? Uh, well, there's a dude with a name. You need something, stranger? Hail and well met, youngun. Have you come to old, uh, Bornol for a tale or two of life in the realms? Or are you just strolling about beating the folks of Baldur's Gate? Have you any interesting tales? Oh, I have tales. Whether they are interesting or not is a matter of debate. I suppose I could share one with you, though it unlikely, or though it likely has no bearing on anything of importance, nothing at all to be gained from the telling, save a moment of time well spent. By all means, go right ahead. I shall then. It was the dawning of a new year, and Chester Blackboot and I were off to rally our friends and storm the gates of the old Firewine ruins. Vela's stable hand was at the head. She was the eldest, you understand. Her pretty, uh, we pretty much agreed that she would take point and absorb most of the initial damage when we're, were, eh, were we attacked. Of course, Vela had her father's axe, too, and that made her an imposing sight at the forefront. She was tall as a pine and could deliver a backhand like you were so much, uh, silt on the breeze. Uh, sure, I feel like that's missing a word or two. Uh, I remember a time when she and Chester, this was Chester Allendale, no relation to the Black Boots, and a good thing too, them Black Boots, had no patience for Vela and her shenanigans. Well, Chester and Vela were spelunking in the old caster. At least, that's what the kids called it in those days. Skinny dipping. They were skinny dipping is what you mean, right? Uh, and her father comes by and by golly, Vela up and belts Chester so hard he didn't hit the ground for a week. Vela's father sees this and laughs so hard he plumps, or he plump forgets he's mad. He's like that though, and the day he passes up a good joke will be the day he passes on entirely. I remember a time. Uh, let's see. I 
don't mean to be critical, but does this story have an end? Or a beginning, for that matter? A story is continued long after the exciting bits end, youngin. You'll miss a lot of life if you don't pay attention to anything outside of swinging the axe and smacking the head. Ah, well. People had more patience in my time. Why, Buck Longbrow could stare at corn from seed to harvest, though he always was a bit shaky after the fall. Eh, leave me be. Okay, well, uh, this is not the right inn if he is, in fact, inside of an inn. With caution. Unless he's back here. No, that's a commoner. Uh, where's the door? There it is. Okay, map. Where the hell is... Oh, well, there's literally freaking Quinn's house right here. Maybe I should pull up the map more often. That might be useful. Yo, Quinn. Think carefully. Uh, that's Nestor's dagger you got there. I saw him drive it between the plates of an... Of at and keg. God, I can't have, I will never pronounce that correctly or consistently. Uh, afore it pulled, I'm under. Uh, Ire, take this gem of mine. We had come to the city to pawn it. To f pawn it afore things all went rock. God damn, dude. Oh, speak an actual coherent language. Uh, his mama's gonna be real grateful to you. Party's reputation increased by one. Wonderful. Think carefully. Oh, and we got a uh, Shadden gem. What is this? Or excuse me, Shandon. Shandon is another name for natrolite in the realms. Its slender, colorless crystal yields tiny, faceted gems, used often in veils and robes in order to capture the beating effect of water glistening upon the material. Well, wonderful. Slap that in your bag. And let's get out of Baldur's Gate now. Yes. I'm pretty sure we talked to you before, buddy. Uh, bubbling simpletons, get out of my way. Unless, of course, you need my services. Well, do you? Uh, we don't need your services, Shorty. Didn't have a, any option to leave beyond you know, either letting him into the party and then kicking him out again. Pretty sure we let him in. We laid by enemies and must defend yourself. Okay. Uh, this is a little close to Baldur's Gate for us to be getting waylaid, but uh, you do you, game. You do you. You're a queer fellow. So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> Oh, quite a few of them, in fact. We actually don't have enough melee for everybody to get one. What you want? Yes. Fall. Fall. You bastard! You shot Jahera. So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> Shut up about. And I kicked him in the head until he was dead. Ha 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 ha. Like, seriously, just shut up. Oh, yes, fine. I'll take the bandit scalps. They're worth money to somebody. I don't recall who they are or where they were, but I remember these, these guys were worth money. Do I need the money? Not really. Will I take the money? Hell yeah. Oh yes, I forgot. Can't save when you're when you got waylaid because. Okay, so it kind it's kind of looked like we got waylaid literally right across the bridge. Also, not quite in the right spot, if we're being completely honest yes. either. But that's besides the point, I guess. And we're gonna get attacked because these things fucking respawn. Nature servant awaits. For a quarterly, they're decent XP, aren't they? But we, we still have to deal with them, which is the annoying bit. Damn. Uh, okay. Jahara just took some acid damage. And so did I. 
And Jahira took some more, but resisted it. Resist and die. Yeah, 975 XP. Down to size. Uh, my turn to save the day. You gotta make sure you're in the rear, buddy. But yeah, these guys are worth a decent amount of XP. Realistically, it might not be the worst idea ever to potentially just kind of farm these guys if, you know, that's something you're into. I'm not into it, but it may not be the worst idea ever if that is something you are into. Stand back and watch this. Uh, I guess we already have that because it's not showing up as green. Okay, wonderful. We have gotten the uh resist fear which is nice with caution uh pretty sure there was another one like right here last time but they also i don't think spawn in the exact same locations every time so who the hell knows we'll probably get attacked though on the way down here to these guys at least you know i wouldn't be surprised by it oh, we got a cat Everybody, come over here and Emoen, interact with the cat. Okay. Your interactions with the cat are literally nothing. You don't even react to it. Okay, guys. Now tell me where the hell you hit it. I know what you did. And we're being attacked. Oh, bandits. What the hell? Why the hell there's a bandit? Why the hell are there bandits here? I mean, okay, I'll take them, but why? I care not. For the fallen! Why the hell are there bandits here? Seriously. This does not seem like this place for bandits. Again, I'll take it. It's money. Either immediately with the little bit of money they have on them. Or... My blade will cut you down to size. More. If I ever go back to where the hell it is we need to go to turn in the scalps. I assume that's the last of them now. Okay, now let's do the thing we actually came here to do. Sonner, tell me where you hit it. Back, I see. Have you done it? Have you killed the bitch? One second. Uh, the priestess had much to say about the group of you. She knows we sent you? Damn it, she'll kill us all for. Hold your tongue, Telman. Now, I warned you she was treacherous. You've gone and believed her lies, haven't you? What did she say, that we stole some bowl or something? Seems a pretty shallow excuse to kill us over, doesn't it? Now, as I said before, we are but poor fishermen. But what if we toss in another, oh, a hundred gold? Will that change your mind? The child has said that you killed her mother and have been taking far too much from the seas. I don't like being used, Sonner. It makes me... angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. Well, that's it then. The jig's up, isn't it? That bitch priestess was taking tribute from us for years. The price had just kept climbing and you can't sail without appeasing Umberly. The cleric of Talos in Baldur's Gate said, Suffice to say, we made other arrangements for our safe passage at sea. Part of that deal was a little payback as well. So you see, we are all pawns within the friendly rivalries of the gods. You had best tread carefully, lest you step on some pretty powerful toes. Let's see. Give me the bowl, Sonner. I'll not ask so nicely a second time. I suppose I have little choice then. I've had it on me the entire time. You felt it was safe as that way. Take it. But to know that the storm lord knows who it is that opposes him. I can carry no more. 
You've got what you came for. Now get out of here. I should stay well away from any Talos shrine if I were you. Vengeful things, these gods. Um. Apparently that temporarily somehow magically took us over our uh, carry limit, which is just, you know, weird. But you do you, game. You do you. If you want to be weird, you can be weird. Think carefully. Oh, it's because... Okay, never mind. It was because we dropped the, uh... We had to drop the bowl. Or not the bowl, the, uh... The nymph hair, rather. Okay. Uh, head back here. Think carefully. Are we going to run into random-ass bandits like we did previously? When we went to go and visit the fishermen? I don't know why some of these guys want to pathfind by going along the coast. Proud to stand among such strong warriors. Like, there's just seemingly no reason for them doing it, but sometimes they just kind of want to, it seems like. I'm a little curious what sort of level is considered low-level medium and high because our guys are what like all level six ish um oh, jahir is a little behind at five and so is Neira. uh but yeah they're all sort of around five six like what is that relatively speaking in this game in terms of level you return i trust you bear good news uh, here is the bowl that was taken from your mother. Perhaps now she will rest. Umberly is mother now, and she is well pleased. She will deal with Sonner's group in time, and Talos will no doubt abandon them for their failure. If they are wise, they will never set sail again, for the sea will take their worthless lives. I have no reward for you, but the Sea Queen remembers those that serve her well. You'll be paid in time. Okay. She's like, peace. She's like, thanks for giving me a thing, uh, but uh, I'm out. I've done had enough of this. Wonderful. I am proud to stand among such Come on. Okay, we're not getting that one, evidently. And there's nothing else here. That's the only one that, uh... We just don't have the skill to unlock that, like, at all. With caution. Uh, you know, I think we're gonna go ahead and head to Baldur's Gate and, uh, rest. Find ourselves a nice fancy schmancy inn, and just rest. Some of our guys are a little bit beat up, particularly Jaira. He's a little more so than everybody else. And you know, it's nighttime. Why not? So yeah, we're, we're gonna go and find ourselves a place to rest. Catch up on our health. Get our spells ready to go, in which case, also, I should probably go ahead and pop your abilities real quick. Also, I should double check that everybody actually has all of their stuff filled out here. Yep, see, here we go. Jahera was not actually full on her level 3 spells. I can have her do Cure Disease or Cure Medium Wounds. See, Blindness, Deafness, and Feeble Mind are also cured with the spell. Some magically created diseases may not be curable. Okay, so I don't know exactly what uh, spells that will protect us from. Or... What disease is necessarily? It lists a couple, but presumably that's not all of them, since it specifically refers to them as are also. Uh, but it may not hurt to go ahead and get a cure disease available. Oh, we actually 
actually have a level 5 spell for Jehera if we can get her up high enough to be able to use those. Um, same with Neira. She has a level 4 and uh, 5 spell. If we can, again, get her up high enough to be able to use them. With caution. I believe there was an inn here, correct? That's a discount store, but I'm pretty sure there was an inn here somewhere, yes. There is Kixi Tavern, but we're going to go to the Elf Song because that one probably has better rooms. You know, because it's bigger. Sure, I could go to the small one right here. Kixi Tavern. Although I don't actually see a way in. So either I'm blind or there's no actual way in. Unless it's that one, which I don't think is the case. God damn it. I really wish it was easier to get inside. It's such a pain in the ass sometimes. To enter buildings. Uh, yes, there is something you can do for me. I would like to rent a royal room. Gets us all our health back. Healing spells cast on rest. Wonderful. Doesn't make any mention of uh, spells being ready to go again, though, of course. But that's fine. Think carefully. Uh, timer's actually about to go off. And uh, we're not going to have time to get anything else done. So I think that's going to be it for this video. That's two quests down. Um, maybe, I don't know what we'll do. I may go ahead and do, uh, Petrine's cat next time. We'll see. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video. I'll see you all next time. Quick reminder, if you want to stay up to date with... Uh, the channel's the schedule, specifically if there's any changes to said schedule, such as, you know, something comes up that interrupts my ability uh, to record or whatever the case may be. Uh, I highly recommend you join the Discord because that is my go-to place for posting about that type of stuff. If you want to support the channel financially, the two best ways to do that are via either the Patreon or Streamlabs. Take your pick as to which one you prefer to use. Patreon is monthly pledges is the best way to describe it. Uh, obviously, though, you know, it's not stopping you from doing it one at a time, but at that point, it's not exactly relevant. Um, but yes, uh, that comes with some goodies, such as early access to videos. If you go the Streamlabs route, you have the option of doing one-time or monthly tipping, as I, well, I prefer to refer to them as tips as opposed to donations. Um, but either way, yeah, you have the option of doing it on just, you know, a one-off or as a monthly situation. Uh, there are no goodies if you go that route, uh, because I just, just do not have a good way of sort of authenticating, probably the best way to describe it, uh, purchase or, you know, tips that are made there and being able to associate that with like a Discord user or something like that. So as a result, um, I just do not have a way of being able to provide goodies. If Streamlabs ever implements you know, something sort of similar to Patreon in that way for doing tips, I might be able to go and give you guys goodies. Uh, but as of right now, that is not the case if you go the Streamlabs route. Um, you just sort of get the warm, fuzzy feeling in your stomach or wherever you get your warm, fuzzy feelings. Uh, that more of the money you give as a tip actually makes its way to the channel because Patreon takes a 5% cut and depending upon exactly which way you go about for doing the payment processing uh, with Streamlabs, uh, like the highest amount would be 2.5% if you could do literally straight card. Uh, but generally speaking, I don't think most people are doing that. So a lot of things tend to be even lower than that, often sub 1%. Um, so yeah. If you go the Streamlabs route, more of whatever you give actually makes its way to the channel specifically, which, you know, that's extra money each time somebody does a tip that I can spend to be able to upgrade my computer so that I can bring you guys higher quality content um, to be able to buy more games, particularly, you know, if it's not something that maybe I was uh, able to afford at the time. Maybe is the best way to describe it. I'm not 
probably not the best way to describe it, but whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, it allowed me to go out and buy more games to be able to have more stuff on the channel. I mean, I got a shit ton of games, honestly, so I'm in no immediate rush necessary to need to do that. But, you know, that is something that the money would be spent on is buying games uh, to be able to show off on the channel, either as one offs or as an actual series, depending on the situation. But yeah, so I'll see you all next time. Until then, a goodbye and farewell.